so today we will be solving summer 18 question paper 31 question number 3 so the question states a curve has equation this find the x coordinate of the stationary points of the curve in the interval which is given so give your answer correct to three decimal places so whenever they're talking about the coordinates of the stationary point so whenever the stationary point is mentioned you should know this thing in mind that we have to find the dy over dx and we are going to equate the dy over dx to zero so to find the dy over dx our function is given so basically we have two functions and as they are being divided we will be using the quotient rule so first i will write the formula of quotient rule so dy over dx is equals to v u prime minus u v prime over v square so in this case our our u is e to the power 3x and our v is tan 1 over 2x so now the u prime would be the derivative of e to the power 3x which is 3 e to the power 3x and the v prime would be the derivative of tan 1 over 2x which would be 1 over 2 secant square 1 over 2x now that we have our u v u prime v prime we can just insert them into the formula so we will get v is tan 1 over 2x and u prime is 3 e to the power 3x minus u is e 3 to the power sorry e to the power 3x and v prime is 1 over 2 secant square 1 over 2x over tan 1 over 2x square now we can further simplify so i'm basically simplifying the brackets so here we'll have uh tan 1 over 2x 1 over 2x 3e to the power 3x minus uh, 1 over 2e to the power 3x secant square 1 over 2x over tan to the power 1 it, sorry tan 1 over 2x it'll be 10 square as there's a square now now we know that e to the power 3x and e to the power 3x is common so we can factor it out so we can write e to the power 3x and we'll have tan 1 over 2x 3 tan as there's a 3 here minus 1 over 2 secant square 1 over 2x upon tan square 1 over 2x this is our derivative dy over dx now we know that as we have to find the x coordinate of the stationary point our derivative should equal to zero so we're going to equate our derivative to zero so basically this whole thing would be equals to zero e to the power 3x 3 tan 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2 secant square 1 over 2x upon tan square 1 over 2x is equals to 0 now that it is equals to 0 this will shift over here and become 0 so we will be left with e to the power 3x 3 tan 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2 secant square 1 over 2x is equals to 0 now we know that our range was x is greater than less than 0 and x is less than pi so e to the power 3x is not equal to 0 so in this case our only possible solution is 3 tan 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2 secant square 1 over 2x is equal to 0 now we need to further simplify this solution and what we can do is we can bring minus 1 over 2 secant square 1 over 2x on the right side 
so it will be 3 tan 1 over 2x is equals to 1 over 2 secant square 1 over 2x now 3 tan 1 over 2x will be as it is and 1 over 2 here we will be using here we will be using tan square 1 over 2x plus 1 in place of secant square 1 over 2x this is an this is the identity which is given in the formula sheet so i'm just going to replace secant square 1 over 2x with tan square 1 over 2x plus 1 now okay now first of all we can further simplify this by simplifying the bracket so it will be 3 tan 1 over 2x is equal to 1 over 2 tan 1 over 2 sorry 1 over 2 tan square 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2 so now we can bring them all on one side so it will be a quadratic equation so we can have 1 over 2 i'm going to bring 3 tan here so it will be 1 over 2 tan square 1 over 2x plus uh, sorry it will be minus 3 tan 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2 is equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and we can solve this using let x be tan 1 over 2x so in this case it will be 1 over 2x square minus 3x plus 1 over 2 so you can solve this equation like this so our solution would be x is equals to 5.83 and x is equals to 0 0.17 so as we assumed x is equals to tan 1 over 2x so it will be tan 1 over 2x is equals to 5.83 and tan 1 over 2x is equals to 0 0.17 so now we can further simplify so 1 over 2x would be tan inverse of 5.83 and in this case 1 over 2x would be tan inverse of 0 0.17 so 1 over 2x would be 1.40 and in this case 1 over 2x would be 0 0.17 0 0.17 so now we are simply just going to shift uh, multiply 1.4 into 2 so we can get rid of the 1 over 2 so x is equals to 2.8 and in this case x is equals to 0 0.337 and these are the solutions.